For the first time in many years, Austin has officially become a buyer's market. Now, before you get too excited and start rushing out there and writing lowball offers, I'm going to break down what that actually means for you and what you can expect if you plan on buying a home in the summer of 2024. So I'm gonna break down the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors. So Austin, Texas officially has 6.2 months of inventory, which is a huge increase from the previous years. In fact, back when it was in 2021 in the spring and we kept seeing crazy multiple offers, it felt like there were no homes on the market. We only had a single digit days of inventory, let's say about a week or so. So the way you understand um, inventory is basically thinking about how long would it take to sell off all the existing homes in the city right now, assuming that no one else ever listed a home again. So right now, all of the homes that are for sale, it would take about 6.2 months to sell them off. Anything considered over six months is considered more of a buyer's market. So it means buyers are getting a little more bargaining power. Um, and in 2021, a, you know, a week's worth of inventory, that's why people were so desperate and willing to pay over asking because there were just not enough homes to pick from and sellers definitely had the upper hand on that time. Now what's ironic is that despite having so many homes for sale, prices are still going up month over month when you look at median sales prices. So what this means is that we're still in a fairly normal um, seasonal cycle, usually in Austin every year, Prices go up in the spring, they usually peak in June and July, and then they start to taper down a little bit once school starts and you hit the holiday months. And usually the end of the year, the prices are a little higher, so we've gained some appreciation. So that appears to be the state that we're in right now. We are not seeing huge price decreases. We've already gone through a correction on our prices back in 2022. But now that the rates have been staying around 7%, we just are kind of seeing that normal trend of seasonality with the summer and spring being the hottest part of the year. We're also seeing a lot of sellers who are hanging on to their homes and just not budging on their price, no matter how high or unrealistic their price is. And this is a sign that our market condition now is definitely different than what it was in 2008. We don't have tons and tons of people going into foreclosures who desperately need to sell and they're upside down. A lot of our homeowners have a ton of equity and they're just putting their home out there and saying, okay, if I can get this price, then I'll sell. But if not, I'll keep it, I'll take it off the market or maybe I'll rent it out and keep it as an income property. So we're not seeing you know, just huge, huge price decreases. Now, some people who need to sell for family, for work, or for whatever reason, they are pricing more realistically in line with the market and they might be more willing to negotiate. But we're seeing a lot of people just withdraw their listings and maybe turn it into a rental. I've had several clients do that this year and they're in that position where they're like, it's fine, I own this home and I can just keep it. I'll try again in next year. So don't expect you know, crazy price cuts coming anytime soon. We already went through a correction um, back in 2022. So our prices, if anything, have just kind of stabilized and we're back to that normal seasonality. Now, looking at the stats, most homes are selling about 5% off of the list price. So you do have some good negotiating power. It's gonna depend, of course, on every single home and neighborhood. It's a little bit different and homes are taking about 48 days or so in Austin, 54 days in Travis County to sell. So that means you got time as a buyer to shop around and you don't have this mad rush of trying to jump into a home and, and compete with multiple offers on the first day. So it's actually a really great time to be a buyer. You can have lots of choices. You do have negotiating power and you have time to actually think and to find the home that you truly love. As always, every neighborhood around town is slightly different. So real estate is always very hyper local. So if you have specific questions about a certain part of town, definitely reach out and ask us and watch our next video about what it takes to buy a home this year.